What's up, my creators? How are you today? It is Saturday, October the 19th. It's a beautiful day, a beautiful fall day. And I want to show you today how you can use mockups to upload your designs to in Canva. Now, this is more so towards people who have um, apparel shops where you're selling t-shirts and sweatshirts and things like that. So this is going to be how to upload your design onto a, in this case, it'll be a sweatshirt mock-up, but it could be the same for a t-shirt mock-up. But since it's fall, we're going to uh, create a sweatshirt mock-up. Okay. So let us get started. So of course I'm over in my favorite place to be online, which is canva.com. And I do have the pro version. Those of you who have been with me for a while know that I have the pro version and I definitely recommend the pro version because it is just, um, you know, just so much more that you could do in the, uh, using the pro version. So we are on Canva and what we're going to do since we are going to upload these final designs into, well, you are going to upload it into your Etsy store or website. I suggest creating a custom size image. So let's click on custom size and let us make the units pixel size. And I like to start mine at 2,500 width by 2,100 height. And since I already have it here, cause I recently made a design that size, I can just click on this and Canva will create a workspace for me that is that size. So here we are on the workspace. For those of you who are brand new to Canva, just try to follow along with us. I do have other videos where I show you a little slower, you know, how to create designs from the very beginning. But right now, this is for people who already have maybe an Etsy store and you just want to have some better mock-ups. This is a way to really kind of make your store pop and make people really pay attention more. I see so many stores on Etsy that really have great designs, t-shirt and sweatshirt designs, but because their mock-ups look so bad, nobody pays attention to them. So sometimes it could be something as simple as your mock-ups just look crazy. So let's start with uploading a mock-up design uh, from my store. Okay, so these were already created for you to use and the size of these mock-ups are very close to 2,500 by 2,100 so that they will fit onto the Canva uh, workspace without a problem. So let's start with this one here because I want the background to be black on the shirt so we can make a really creative design. So once it's on the screen, I am going to click on the three dots and I'm going to choose set image as background. And you see it put it to the background and it did not lose any um, of the image at all. So we still have the same image. So let's go and create a design for this shirt. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add a page here and I'm going to just create the design on this page. And then we're going to take this design and input it onto the mock-up. Um, I don't really have to make this a 12 by 16 because we are not, this uh, video is not about making the design. It's really more so about the mock-up. So the size that we need is really uh, the mock-up size, which we already have as 2,500 by 2,100. I'm just going to create a quick design here. All right. So I have some designs that I had created some time ago. So I'm just going to choose one of these. Let's click on this one celebrate black history. So now for instance, if this was your design and you wanted to put it on your mock-up, this is what you would do. 
you would upload your design into Canva by going to your upload tab or your upload um, link over here on the side. Let's find uploads. Well, I need to get out of the black history. And then you would go to uploads right here and upload your design. But mine was already uploaded. So I am just going to um, pretend that we just did this. So there you go. So now when you up, when you download this rather, you would then upload it into your Etsy store, but you have a beautiful mock-up already designed and ready and waiting, um, for you to put in your store. Now I added another page. Now let's put this same design onto another, uh, model. And you do that obviously because you want to sell this sweatshirt at, for men or women. And so let's find another mock-up. Let's choose her. Uh oh, I think I put it on the wrong page. Yeah, I did. Let's delete this. Let's click on page two. The page that you are clicked on, whatever you choose over here in Canva on the left side is going to put it on that page. So I was still clicked on page one. So let's click on page two. Now we're going to choose our model. Let's choose her. Make her the background. We're going to take the same image and we are going to duplicate it. And we're just going to hold on to it, grab it with your mouse and go down to page two. And now you can set it on her. So there is your second mock-up. Very easy to do, especially if your mock-ups are already made for you. Let's do a third one. Let's find a white background or white shirt for background. So let's choose her, set her as a background image, take the same design, duplicate it, bring it down to page three. Okay. So there you go. Now here's something else. At any time you can duplicate any of your designs or your mock-ups. Let's duplicate this page. Let's say you want to have a close up. So I've duplicated the page. I'm going to double click on the model and I'm going to just pull the sides out like that. Now you probably have seen on Etsy sometimes the, the um, mock-ups where the head is, you know, kind of cut off or the face is not shown completely. It's however you want to do it because basically what you want to do is show this image right here. And you know what, now that I look at it, white doesn't work because there are some words in here that are white. You see that on the bottom celebrate black history. So the white t-shirt does not really work or not t-shirt or sweatshirt. So we're going to delete this one off of here. Um, detach image from background and we're going to trash it. So maybe let's find a sand color or gold color shirt, perhaps. Let's see if we have one, maybe even gray may work. All right. So let's just choose her with the gray sweatshirt and we are going to set the image as the background. Yeah. So now you can see the white on here. So now let's get rid of this one. Let's duplicate this one. I'm going to make the workspace a little smaller so that when I click into the background image, you can see what I'm doing. So now I'm going to grab the edge. You can go to either side, grab the corner and just make it a bit larger. And this is like to show a close up, right? So there we go. Now we can make the design bigger, do the same thing, grab the edge and just make it larger. So this is ultimately this, we just made it a little larger. So your customers can see what you did. So there you go. This is perfect. So you just want your images to really uh, stick out, to stand out. And 
this one here, the background is a little dull. So I'm going to choose the image by clicking on it and I'm going to choose edit and I'm just going to make it a little brighter because that background is kind of dull. So let's go to adjust and let's make it a little lighter. Yeah. See, this is great because it doesn't really make his skin lighter because I don't want to do that. I love his skin. I just want the background to stand out a little bit better. You can adjust the contrast however you want to. Okay, so that's a little better because you can see the background more and the um, image itself just looks a little um, more vivid. So now if you click on these four um, squares over here, this is the grid view, and this will show you all of them at the same time. It's not that much larger, but you can at least see your images. And to get out of that, you just double click on any one of them. So now you have your mockups and these are ready to load. And again, you can do as many of these as you want. Now, one thing that you also might want to do, you may want to create a social media post with these same um, mockups. And I'll show you in the next video so that this video is not too long. In the next video, we're going to use these same mockups and we're going to create some social media posts. By the way, guys, I do have mockups in my store and I promise you, you will not find them any cheaper. I have them uh, three for, I believe, a dollar or something like that. So these actually are in the store and I'm constantly loading things every day. So make sure you check on the store daily so that you can see, you know, what's been uploaded. Okay. Thanks guys. Have a beautiful day. This was just a very short video just to um, show you how to use mockups to really, you know, beef up your brand, beef up your store. Last thing I want to say, make sure you insert your logo or watermark or something um, on here because you want to start branding yourself, right? So when people see your pictures, they know, oh, this belongs to the Joy Art Club or whatever your name is. So make sure you start branding and putting your logos on your um, images or your, your display uh, items, okay, that you're going to upload to your store or to Etsy. All right. Now I can say, have a beautiful day. Stay creative. Make sure you create something every day. And remember, the more we create, the less we hate. <music>